Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see numerical on Z-Bus building algorithm. Let us consider a 3-Bus system. Here we have 3 buses and 1 reference bus. We have several branches connected between the buses and we have to form the Z-Bus matrix. Let us see the procedure. I am going to consider this uh, given matrix. For Z-Bus building algorithm, we are going to add 1-1 one, one element between the nodes and we are going to form the Z-Bus matrix corresponding to that particular element. Okay, so in the similar way we will progress through all the elements which are present in my network and finally I am going to get the Z-Bus matrix for the given network. Let us go by the bus number. So let us start with the first bus and uh, we will consider the element which is connected between the first bus to the reference which is uh, having the impedance 0 0.25. Step 1. Take this element which is connected between the first bus to reference bus. To make you comfortable with the procedure, I am just going to show you separately this particular line. Let us see that. So here I am going to take the same nodes, that's uh, node 1 and the reference node and I am going to connect this element between these two nodes. So this is the branch. Now we have to form the Z-Bus matrix with respect to this branch and the nodes present in this partial network are node 1 and node reference that is bus 1 and reference bus. So take the Z-Bus which we are going to form between the first bus because the reference node always will have a zero voltage so the impedance obviously becomes zero because z is equal to v by i if voltage becomes zero obviously the z becomes zero so we are not going to take the reference node okay you just have to add this z11 what is the meaning of the z11 is this particular element's impedance that is given here which is 0 0.25 therefore the z bus value is equal to whatever the line impedance that we have here which is 0.25 that is equal to 0.25 okay so this is the matrix corresponding to the element which is connected between 1 and the r this is called type 1 modification okay as i have indicated here this whatever the Z-Bus you have formed, it is a Z-Bus matrix with respect to the type 1 modification because we have added an element between new bus to reference, okay. Because this network just now I started, whichever nodes I take, I will consider those nodes as new nodes because I didn't finish this complete network, okay. Once I get the complete network, then I call that Z-Bus value as my final Z-Bus. Since I didn't finish because I just added one element in the uh, existing network, this network I will call it as a partial network because I didn't finish, uh, you know, for all the elements. So, I'm going to call this matrix as my Z-Bus matrix. Now, what is the next step is, Next step, I am going to add the element between the 1 and 2 and I will add the element between 1 and 3. So, which type of modification is this? Because 1 is already present in my network. So, now if I have to add my this uh, 0 0.1 branch, I need to bring this second node to my network. Okay. So, that second node act as a new node. This first node act as a old bus okay so then what if i connect this element it is going to be like i have connected an element between my old bus to the new bus okay the old bus is first bus and the new bus act as a second bus so that will be equal to the type 2 modification even if i consider this element also okay which is connected between my first bus to the third bus first bus is already existing which is a old bus and third bus I have to bring to this network newly. So that is why this bus will be called as a new bus. Again this element also will fall under the category of type 2 modification. So let us see what are we going to do with these two elements. Let us consider this as my partial network type 2 modification. So now we are going to add the element between 1 and 2. Let us consider the previous Z-Bus whatever we got. 
we added one element the z bus we got the corresponding branch impedance so that is 0.25 now we are going to add this new branch by bringing the new node to my partial network now let us connect a element between 1 and 2 new node has come to this partial network and we have connected an element between bus 1 to bus 2 this is old bus and this is new bus and the impedance of this line is 0 0.2 so since we brought the new node here now we are going to form the z bus with respect to my first bus as well as my second bus also should include in the network so that is the matrix size will increase by 1 that's what I told you the type 1 and the type 2 modifications whenever you are doing the type 1 and type 2 modifications the size of the z bus matrix will increase by 1 if you do any type 1 or type 2 modification in the next step the size of the matrix is going to increase by dimension 1. So the same thing happened. In the previous step you got the 1 cross 1 matrix. Now in this step the matrix is going to increase by 1. That means it has become 2 by 2 matrix. Then what are these values? How can you get these values? The simple procedure is these two off diagonal elements are nothing but the same value that you got here okay you can just copy paste this value here okay whatever values are here z bus if you have a two values all the two values will transfer here as it is as a column matrix if it is a one value you just copy that one value to the off diagonal elements okay that becomes 0 0.25 0 0.25 and coming to this diagonal quantity Diagonal quantity is nothing but whatever the diagonal quantity you have in the old bus, okay? That is, to whichever old bus you have connected this element, that old bus diagonal element means you have connected to the 1 1, right? That 1 1 diagonal element you will consider that is 0.25. For this 0.25, you will add the uh, this new element impedance means 0.1 you will add. So, whichever element you have considered, that impedance will be added to the, the old bus diagonal self-impedance. So, that is 0.25 plus 0.1. That is equal to 0.35. If you want to go by the formula based, so you can refer the type 2 modifications. So, this formula I have given you ZII plus ZB. Okay, this is the ZB value. Ith bus is my old bus. Here old bus is first bus. So that is Z11 plus this ZB value. Z11 is 0.25 plus ZB value is 0.1. Okay that is 0.25 plus 0.1 is 0.35. Or else the concept wise if you want to remember that is a concept. To whichever old bus you have connected you take the self impedance of that node and you add the branch impedance then you will get this diagonal quantity i hope it is clear now if you want to add this element which is connected between the 1 and 3 that is also belongs to the type 2 modification because you are adding an element between old bus to the new bus let us see that third step is an element added between the bus 1 and 3 now let us consider my old bus that is whichever z bus you got in the previous step this we got and we are going to bring a new node which is a third node third bus and uh, we have connected an element between 1 and 3 which is 0.1. So now this third node we have to include in your new bus so your z bus old is going to update by new bus so now this is actually a new bus okay in this step it is called new bus in the later step it will be called as a old bus now this is a z bus new after adding this uh, third bus to to my matrix now you need to get these uh, column matrix this row matrix and this uh, diagonal element also as i said in the previous step 
it's very very easy getting these uh, elements you just have to look at to which mold bus you have connected okay so this branch is connected to my first bus so you just go to the first bus you pick up whatever the values you have corresponding to this first bus okay then you transfer here okay so column matrix is done then same first bus you just look into the row wise and you pick up these values row wise and you transfer here okay you just identify which old bus it is connected so take the column values copy to the column take the row values copy to the row so so let us see that i have taken the column values i transferred here and i have taken the row values and i will transfer those values here okay it's very simple so then what you have to do i just told you to get my diagonal quantity you just have to take the self impedance of the old bus to which you have connected that is z11 that is this value 0.25 so for this value you just have to add the branch impedance okay that is a new line impedance so 0.25 plus 0.1 again you will get here 0.35 and this is your z bus volt now we are going to this is your z bus new for this case now we are going to till now you have added this element this element and this element so now we are left with the two more elements let us see how the three or two more elements are connected here one element is connected between my third bus to the reference bus if you look at your partial network by now you can see all the nodes which are present in my original network are also present in my partial network means we no need to bring any new node to the network because all nodes are present here so now further modifications whatever you are going to do either it will be the third type or the fourth type if you want to connect an element between third bus to the reference node belongs to the type 3 modification because you are connecting an element between old bus to the reference bus if you want to connect this element you have connected an element between buses 2 and 3 which is belongs to the type 4 modification now let us do the type 3 modification by connecting this element which is between bus 3 and the reference type 3 modification so let us consider my old bus so which i got what is the concept here is now our z bus matrix is not going to update its dimension because uh, you are going to add a link okay so link in the sense you are going to connect an element between the existing nodes okay so whenever you connect an element between the existing nodes the size of the matrix will not update you just uh, bring the effect of that line means the values inside the matrix will change but the matrix dimension will not change so that is why you will consider the old bus matrix and you will do the rest of the modifications to this so now let us add the element it's a 0.25 which i have connected between third bus to reference now what is the concept you have to take is if you remember the pattern of the formula that i have given to you for the type 3 modification this is what you got okay so there will be some term here 1 divided by some term will be there in the denominator one column matrix and the one row matrix so what will come here so you no need to remember the formula i will tell you one simple technique to whichever old bus you have connected you just go to that particular bus in the matrix and you select the corresponding column and the corresponding row okay intersection value of the column and the row will go as a first term okay that is called zii so for this zii you will add the branch impedance that is 0.25 is that clear so 0.35 plus 0.25 will give you my denominator value which is 0.6 is that clear 1 by 0.6 then what is this column matrix is this whatever the column matrix you have taken here 
this will go to the column matrix and whatever the row matrix you have taken this will go to my row matrix that's it let us fill this matrices so now 1 divided by 0.6 which is 0.35 plus 0.25 and your column matrix will be this matrix that's 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.35 and the row matrix is either you can take the transpose of this column matrix or else you transfer this both are same. So this is the final matrix. So you just have to multiply this it is the 3 cross 1 matrix okay it is a 3 cross 1 and it is 1 cross 3. So the resultant matrix will give you 3 cross 3 matrix. So let us take this and simplify. Multiply this value 0.25 into 0.25. It will give 0 0.0625. Again 0 0.25 into 0 0.25. 0 0.0625. And these two will give you this value. In the similar way, you just multiply with the other values. You will get this matrix. And divide these entire values by this 0.6. And subtract these values from this and you are going to get the final Z bus new matrix after type 3 modification as this one. Now let us do the last step which is one more element is left from the original network. That belongs to the type 4 modification because we have to connect this one element. So to bring this element to our partial network you need to connect an element between two old buses which belongs to the type 4 modification. So let us take the old bus as it is. Now let us connect an element between buses 2 and 3. Now we are going to form the Z bus new. Z bus new equal to Z bus old. This is a Z bus old minus. In the similar way here also you need to get one value that is 1 divided by some term will come. Here one column matrix will come. And here one row matrix will come. So now let us see how to fill these things. The constant term how we have to get it. You just have connected the element between the two old buses 2 and 3. Okay. Now you just go to buses 2 and the buses 3. Now your point of interest should be on these two buses. So now what you have to do is you just take the zii that is the self impedance of my second bus and the self impedance of my third bus and the mutual impedance of 2 and 3 okay so both mutual impedances are same these two are mutual impedances any mutual impedance you can take is that clear now add these two add the self impedances minus 2 times of this any one value minus 2 times of the z23 plus this zb value is that clear that is going to give you the denominator value is that clear i have given you the expression also zii let us consider my second bus as a i and my third bus as a j okay zii is 0.246 ZJJ is my 0 0.146 minus 2 times of ZIJ. Okay, if I is equal to 2, J equal to 3, 2 times of Z23. My 2, 3 is 0 0.104 minus 2 times of that value plus ZB. This is my ZB. Is that clear? So, 0 0.246, 0 0.146 minus 2 times of 0 0.104 plus 0 0.1 will give you 0 0.284. So then what is the column matrix? So column matrix is nothing but a difference between these two. Okay. So you subtract this value minus this value, this value minus this value, this value minus this value. So if you subtract, so you are going to get these values. Okay. So first one matrix if you get the transpose of the first column matrix only this row matrix okay you no need to do two two times you just find out for one matrix apply the transpose for this you will get the other row matrix so that's it once you get these values you just multiply and then simplify you will get this 
final z bus mu i hope it is clear thank you